Hey everybody, I'm Cliff, N4CCB. In this video, we're going to talk about propagation prediction through a very cool website called voacap.com. Now, voacap is Voice of America Coverage Analysis Program, and it's been 50 years in the making to get it to the point where it is now. There's a lot to it, but you don't have to know very much in order to get a lot of benefit from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the basics and show you how to create cool coverage maps like this. And let's get started right now. So this is what you see when you get to the voacap.com website. And what you're going to do is scroll to look at this cool goodness of what's available. And let's just start out with the coverage area map because that is the most visually interesting thing they've got. Uh, so I'm going to just drag the map over here. You can drag this little transmitter side icon and drop it over where you are. And you, of course you can zoom in and get that you know very accurate if you want to. An alternative is to come over here and just select the uh, location. So since we're in America, I'm going to scroll down here to the W's. And there's an entry here for Nashville where I live, or close to where I live anyway. Um, so all you have to do is to fill in this information to get a map. So uh, it's 2018, it's May. Right now it's actually 1915 UTC as I record this. And I'm going to do this for a period of 12 hours. So I'm going to get from 2 o'clock this afternoon right now, my time, till 2 o'clock in the morning by doing this. Uh, instructions say just to leave the sunspot number blank because the website knows what the number is. Sadly today I think it's zero or thereabouts. Um, the transmit antenna I'm using is a quarter wave vertical uh, with a good ground in my backyard. And let's say I'm going to use 5 watts as I most often do. And uh, let's look at it for well, let's look at it for 40 meters. How about that? CW 40 meters. And let's assume that the receiving sites don't have an amazing antenna. They've just got a you know dipole. All right. And uh, well, one more thing here. You can choose what noise level they've got. Let's say they're residential. Makes it a little worse. And now let's run the prediction. So by clicking this button, uh, this information goes back to the server. And the server creates, in this case, 12 images because I've asked for 12 hours worth. OK, so this is what it looks like right now. This is what the software believes my coverage is right now on 40 meters at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 19 UTC time. I'm going to scroll down and notice how this changes over time. Now we're at 4 o'clock in the afternoon for me. And 5, see how that's growing? 6. So by 6 o'clock, I can pretty much work anywhere in middle America, down south even to Cuba, up to New England. And as I continue on, by the time we get to here, I can pretty much talk to everybody in America now this is like 9 o'clock at night my time now I think. But this is very interesting. As a matter of fact I'm going to just put all these, take all these 12 pictures that were generated and I'm going to put them into a little video and animate them so that you can kind of see uh, by flipping through these very quickly uh, what you get. Okay, that was what 40 meters looks like. Now let's look at 20 meters. Same information up here. I'll run it for 12 hours again. And let's just change this little pick list to 20 meters and run this thing. Now what you're going to see as soon as it finishes is whereas 40 meters I could talk to anybody nearby right now, uh, that's not the case with 20 meters. As a matter of fact, I can't talk to anybody close in with 20 meters right now but I've got all this peripheral coverage and as I start scrolling through here now this is two o'clock in the afternoon for me there's three four five notice how I'm getting down into South America really well now seven there's eight o'clock notice how it's gonna start collapsing though now I'm losing America completely and by the time we get to two o'clock in the morning there's really just nothing left for me to for me to be able to do on 20 meters. 
So this is very cool. Now I'm going to go back now. And uh, that's really all I want to show you of this first uh, coverage map. Let's go look at the point to point predictions. And then we're going to stop. All right, so there's a lot going on here, but you can just ignore a lot of it. Let's say that we want to talk to uh, somebody in Iceland. I'm going to drag this over here to Tennessee. I'm going to drag this up to Iceland. And I've got this information down here. Excuse me, move the mouse a little bit. Um, I'm going to change this information on my transmitter site because I don't have a fancy antenna. I'm just going to quickly set all these things over to uh, my quarter wave vertical. Okay, and I'm not transmitting 1500 watts, so uh, let's go back down to 5 watts. Uh, CW, great. At the receiver site, um, you know, they've got some really fancy antenna set up here. Let me just go ahead and set these up to, uh, to dipoles. Hang on just a sec. Okay, so I've set that up. Now let's go up here and uh, take a look at this little chart first of all. Notice how when I hover my mouse over these points, it shows me all the different bands and what my percent reliability is right now. So we can see that this green represents 40 meters and my best chance to talk to Iceland is at about 1 o'clock in the morning my time on 40 meters. Um, maybe two o'clock in the morning right now with daylight savings time going. Um, so uh, you know you can just look at all the bands 20 meters uh, best you can do at 20 meters is about seven o'clock at night my time right now but this is this is really cool and uh, you can also just isolate some of these so let's just go ahead and double click on the 40 meter thing here to just look at what 40 meters looks like now I'll bring it back out all right, one other cool thing I want to show you about this too. Well, first of all, all right, <laughs> this is so cool. Guys, I'm sorry, my disjointed presentation here. You can just drag this thing around. Let's say you want to talk to Spain. Well, by moving that little receiver site around, it immediately shows you the changes. So you want to talk to somebody in Argentina? Okay. Now, this completely changes, and at 5 watts into Argentina, you know, you can work them on uh, 30 meters here. Uh, 15 meters is a really good candidate uh, here at my location at, uh, you know, just in the evening, 6 or 7 o'clock. Um, but this is a really cool tool. All right, one more thing I want to show you before we go. And that is this 24 hour prediction wheel. So, right now, remember, we're still set down here. We're still set over here to. Uh, to transmit down into Argentina. But if I get down here and I click on use the 24 hour prediction wheel, look what happens. I'm going to put this back to where we had it down into Argentina. But now take a look at the wheel here. So here's time of day and then here's by band. So right here, this is the 17 meter band. I have 94% reliability into Argentina at 2100 Zulu so um, you know about four o'clock five o'clock in the afternoon is a good time for me to to uh, use in this case 17 meters to get into Argentina but you can see that the difference between the 17 meter band at 2100 hours and and the 15 meter band is only four percent difference reliability so uh, anyway this is a really cool way to just at a glance be able to tell who you can talk to. Let's say we want to talk to California. I'm going to slide this over here to somewhere around LA. Alright, now to reach LA, I can get them on 40 meters late at night here. Uh, you know, it's early UTC, but it's late at night for me. Uh, I can get them a little earlier on 20 meters in, in the uh, afternoon, late afternoon. So anyway, this is so cool and you can easily just, you know, change these things, change antennas and see what happens. Like I'll just do this. Let's say that that guy in Los Angeles I want to talk to happens to uh, have a an eight element Yagi on uh, on 40 meters. Can you imagine what that would look like? Well 
look at what that antenna gets you. Uh, so I'd like to have a lot of friends with eight element Yagi's uh, for my QRP uh, activations. But anyway, this is a quick overview and I hope you'll enjoy this. Well, I hope you found that interesting and I hope it'll be of benefit to you whenever you're trying to figure out uh, what's the best time and what's the best band to contact a certain country or if you just want to know who should be able to hear you at certain times of day. So anyway, have fun with that and until next time, see you later.